What's up, real world? Twisted luck. Hope everybody's good. Thanks for being here. Today, I'm, I'm not going to mess with a date. No, actually, I think it's 28th. I think it's Saturday, August 28th, uh, 2021, for anybody keeping track. And I'm pretty sure that's that's accurate. Um, I just, unfortunately, had to go into Walmart. You know how much I hate that damn place. And it's very rare that I go there. Uh, every once in a while, there's, there's just like some kind of need where I go there. But then when I am there, I try to think, okay, is there anything else that I might need in here while I'm here so I don't have to come back? And whatever it is that I'm getting, I get a few of, so I don't have to do it again for a long time. But man, we've been talking about shortages and a lot of shelves looking bare in there. All sorts of different things. We started talking a few weeks ago about um, noticing like little things here and there probably at a point where you'd have to be paying attention and looking for it to notice it most people probably you know just walk right by oblivious as many people are in general um but now i don't think anybody could not notice it there's just so many bare areas weird things too oddly one i didn't expect bed sheets um i needed i just needed one damn sheet for something we're doing and uh holy crap just everything empty and I, I have a hard time believing just suddenly everybody needed bed sheets today or the past couple of days um, food items uh, just all sorts of things just running out so now is a good time not to start preparing we've been talking about that for a long time so hopefully everybody's done that but now is a good time to probably brush up on it you know check your list anything you meant to get more of or meant to get or whatever um probably now's a good time to just take the time and and do it I, I gotta do it myself i'm telling everybody else to do it and i've been putting it off i've been saying i mean i think we're pretty good um because we thought like way outside the box too we've got like crazy things that you know probably will never need but you never know and i i want to be prepared for any scenario uh, like I said a long time ago, we've got things to uh, seal off the entire house if need be <laughs> for who, you know, who knows why, but uh, we've got enough material to do that two or three times probably. Um, you know, but th that's just one example, you know, just thinking outside the box, just thinking. If it sounds crazy, it's probably a good idea because we've seen a lot in the past year or, or so that a couple years ago would have sounded crazy, right? And we see a lot of crazy sounding things playing out right before our eyes with our own eyes that we use and think with our own minds, not what the TV tells us. Um, but it's a good time not to panic, obviously, not to be in fear because we always stay positive and we just want to be prepared. And a big one, I've said this many times, a big one because a lot of people forget it. This is why I repeat it. A lot of people not necessarily forget it, but don't think of it. The mental preparation, right? The mental preparation. Because if something, ha if there's an event, like for example, a grid down, you know, scenario, it's not gonna schedule it with us. It's, there's not gonna be an appointment. It's not gonna be like, all right, you know, um, you know, Saturday at noon, uh, all gonna go down right no it's not it's gonna be just randomly it could be right here while i'm making this video um it could be you know in the middle of the night as some of us sleep while you're at work while you're running to the store while you're picking up a kid from school taking him to school you know what i mean so it just it, it, it's not gonna have a set time so it's good to have a go bag we keep go bags in our vehicles just in case um stowed away they're not you know in the way or anything but they're packed with some essentials uh to get you to where you need to be should you know something happen and you know keep in mind too if vehicles or many vehicles stopped working you know you're not gonna be able to just drive right home but it, you know the other night i had a dream i hadn't had a dream like this in a little while but uh we were driving it was the family was with me and um it was nighttime and all of a sudden just power out I mean, everywhere, everything went dark. The truck was still working, but everything went dark, uh, all the traffic lights, and as far as you could see, 
everything was just dark and you could see for some reason people starting to panic you know driving you know pulling over stopping not knowing what to do but because of the mental preparation you know i was you know the kids started freaking out oh no i'm like no no it's okay it's all right you know we're going home now it's okay everything's gonna be okay and um that's just an example of you know obviously that was just a dream but mental preparation to prepare you so it's not a surprise when something like that happens if something like that happens right um so it's not a surprise so you already have a plan you already know what you're going to do you know what you got to do and you're going to be a step ahead of the rest as everybody goes into like wonder and panic and waiting for their tv to tell them what to do but uh oh there ain't no tv here to tell us what to do what in the hell we gonna do uh and that's not even a joke what in the hell are people gonna do there's so many people that rely on that damn truth box to uh direct them and tell them what they need to do and how they need to feel how they need to think what they need to fear without that there is going to be pandemonium suddenly people are going to be forced to think for themselves and many of them are not going to fare well because of it uh you know those are the same people that have not prepared and have called us crazy and you know it is what it is but uh so it's just something to keep in mind but I, I went into Walmart, like I said, and I was wearing this shirt. You know what shirt that is. But it, I actually, anytime I have to go to a big place or like that, I like to wear one of these shirts because I want to. I don't want to like make people mad. That's not my goal. But I want to spark conversation. Uh, it, but so far to date, it's sparked a lot of conversation today in there but it's all pop people are like oh i love the shirt uh, people need to think people you know a lot of people that think like us um logically with their own minds and uh but i, I i've been hoping for someone to be like oh that's crazy you know could, and then i want to you know tell them just tell them what i've seen i don't want to fight with somebody you know it's hard to have a conversation with most people obviously but i would love to have a conversation and be like look here's what i have seen Here's what I have seen with my own eyes. Here's what my independent research, not news sites, not Google, DuckDuckGo, has found. And, you know, compared to with what I see with my own eyes. And I implore you to do the same. Don't take my word for it. I'm not trying to change your mind. I just want everybody to think for themselves. And see what you see. And please do some research before you do anything like that. Especially to your kids. Please because like i said effects of the kool-aid and all these videos so i'm going to make a compilation of all the things that maybe people can share from all those videos i'm just going to make a short quick one with everything but anyway so lots of lots of positive um comments and you know still not a single negative so many people when you throw up a flag in this case a shirt um you see how many people are thinking just like you even people with the diaper on, right? They're just doing that because they're afraid to be pointed out. And they'll tell you that. I've been told that many times by people who are like, oh man, that's great, I agree, but they come up like this. And I'm like, well, that's weird. And then they bring it up on their own. They're like, oh, I only do this because, you know, I don't want to hear any crap from people. Uh, stop that, take that off, don't do that. That's sending the wrong message. That's showing people that don't know what's in your mind that, oh, look, all these people, the media's right. I am alone. No, stop playing that game. We are the majority. We really are. We, the people, are the majority. Uh, so, some good talks with a couple of random strangers in there. And and then uh, even one guy. It's weird. It's not like a huge channel. Um, so, it's always weird anytime somebody I don't know recognizes me. But from behind me, as I'm talking to one guy, I hear, <laughs> I hear, hey, you're the guy from Twisted Luck Truth, aren't you? I'm like, well, yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> no, didn't say that. I was just like, yeah, man, what's up? And he watches the videos and he's seen some stuff. And obviously he, most people, if they're following this channel, you know, like-minded, thinking with their own minds, seeing with their own eyes. Um, but same thing with him, you know, and everybody agrees, man, people need to know. People need to share this stuff. People, people have got to know. It's true. People do have got to know. Um, but we have to stay positive, right? Like we always stay positive. One thing I was thinking, I like to share stupid things I've done. You can laugh at my expense. So 
and this is just something that's been in my mind. I was gonna make a short with it. Maybe I will still, but um, these damn backup cameras, right? And I know, I know a lot of this is my fault. My fault, negligence on my part. I know that. So stop you there. I already am aware. <laughs> so backup cameras and vehicles, right? So never owned a vehicle with a backup camera until recently. I've never backed into a stationary vehicle. Well, I did one time, but that they pulled behind me. So when I checked, it wasn't there. And then I started backing up and I ran over a PT Cruiser. That was years ago. So that doesn't count. But um, never backed into a stationary vehicle until I have a vehicle, or we have a vehicle, with a backup camera on it. Damn it. So it sucks when you're driving your wife's vehicle when you've never done that before and then you do it in hers, but you back into your own, but only damage hers. Mm. What makes that worse? You know what makes that like a hundred times worse? When she's sitting in the passenger seat when you do it. Not good, not good. Make you feel like an ass immediately. This much time, just the tiniest little fraction of a second, you feel like the lowest ass, stupid idiot in the world. But I find it ironic First time with a backup camera, first time I do that. Also with the backup camera, another thing I don't like, and, and this has nothing to do with the other thing, right? It has nothing to do with, uh, these aren't related, but due to my negligence, you know, I, I get it. So I make these videos a lot when I drive, right? So I've got a mirror, I've got a, a, a video screen, and I've got sometimes a backup camera when it's in reverse, right? So I can do hands-free and I can pay attention to everything. But it's become habit when I drive the vehicle with the backup camera that when you put it in reverse, obviously you check all your surroundings, but you look at the camera, right? You know how many times I've caught myself backing up like this? And then I'm like, oh shit, that's the camera. <laughs> how, it's just, it's only by luck that nothing was there because you know, and my negligence, here we go, my negligence. And no, I was not doing that when I backed into my truck. I was looking down at the ground, backing up, and I thought I had more room and I didn't. But um, but anyway, so yeah, it's like a mind F. It's like a little mind F. Your mind gets, you know, conditioned in certain vehicles. Actually, I even do it in when I get in my other one without the backup camera because of this one. Put it in reverse and go to look. Oh, there's no camera there but to look at a screen, you know, so, and I'm also so often using this screen, it's a little mind F, a little mind twist, and I look in the wrong damn one, backing up. It's only happened a few times. Usually I catch it before I start moving. You know, I'll be like, all right, everything look good, this way, that way. And you would think people are like, well, you see a picture of yourself, so how's that working? I know, it's part of the mind F because when the camera is on, I'm used to also seeing myself. So it's just a weird mental thing uh, that happens. But yes, yeah, stupid. I don't like backup cameras. I was like, oh, that's great. And now I'm just like, pain in my ass, damn it. And then how do you live that down? First backup camera you have is the first time you back into something. Damn it, great job. Great job, backup cameras. You, you destroyed things. You made it, you leave well enough alone. It wasn't broken. I imagine if you weren't like always, if you don't always have video, like a camera going, but then we got dash cam too. So I got this camera that I use for these rear view mirror, dash cam, video screen for the backup camera. And then whatever it else it is, no matter what else you're doing, this is too much shit to look at <laughs> my negligence. I know again, I'm aware, I'm aware I got it. But anyway, so yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to un-F my mind to think about it for a second. Make sure I'm looking at the long right screen or the rear view mirror. Just go back to the rear view mirror. Not the dash cam, not this cam, the backup cam or, but I don't like even looking at the backup cam. I don't think people should be like focused on that all the time and just rely on that. Cause that's showing you directly behind you. You know, there's shit coming from that way and that way. And you're gonna back right up and you're gonna like, well, geez, there was nothing in the camera. There is nothing there. He came out of nowhere. Well, he didn't come out of nowhere. He was right there. You were looking in nowhere. Anyway, I digress. Um, but it is what it is. But yeah, you, what shortages are you seeing? 
it's time this is just a reminder i wanted to throw something else here and damn it i've forgotten what it was so we'll do it in another video but um just a reminder let's top off your preps right think if there's anything you need i'm not saying hey shit's about to be gone but it could be right and which is why we prepare for the unknown because we don't know but now is a good time to top things off check things out because we're physically seeing now even people not paying attention are going to start noticing how bare the shelves are a lot of you have said you're seeing super bare shelves in your areas um what are you seeing is there anything that's like totally gone now you can't get anymore um there is one thing that's gone like online everywhere i don't think i can say it here but um one thing that's there there are things people are using uh remedies and things like that i'll say that online and in stores wiped out completely wiped out so think about that stuff too and do what you can do while you can do it thanks for being here twist of love truth i'll see you soon